For these Iraqi families, life in Mosul is simply unbearable. So they flee, leaving behind the battle between Iraq's army and ISIS. The fighting forced Abu Fahad, his wife, and their seven children out. We had to leave, he says. My family was nearly starving. But at this army checkpoint, some unexpected sweet relief. Abu Fahad says ISIS erased all joy from Mosul. This is the first time the kids here have had a snack and some pop in more than two years. Soon, their journey to safety gets underway. The displaced come here to this assembly point. The women separated from the men who are questioned. Officials are trying to stop ISIS fighters from escaping the city. Then onto this massive camp run by the United Nations. As the fighting rages north of here in Mosul, the exodus continues. These people are among the 5,000 who are fleeing every single day. <laughs> Chaos as more Mosul residents arrive. Heavy rain today made their suffering even worse. Water is an issue, um, sanitation is an issue, food is an issue. So all the basics of survival uh, are needed for people who are fleeing the war. Still, this camp offers shelter and security. So we, um... ISIS made us suffer in poverty, she says. They made us hate life. This man says the militants forced men to grow long beards, while women always had to cover their faces. Ignoring the rules could bring death. Bashar Ibrahim worked in construction, but there was no work under ISIS. It got so bad he had to burn the family's furniture to heat an oven to bake bread. It was like living next to death, he says. Now we are living again. But still, 750,000 people remain trapped in Mosul. As the fighting continues, the UN is building new camps for those who can escape. Derek Stoffel, CBC News, near Mosul.